Well, we've got ourselves another rainy day here for RC stuff. So you're gonna see the beginning of this video of us on the couch, but we actually have driven this over the last month or so a couple times. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm so glad we got to get out and fly yesterday because I think we're gonna be in for some rain for a couple days. Now, I wanna show you what this Ducati RC motorcycle can do. extremely passionate about getting this video to you. They can go <laughs> right and left. Just Slowly. like that. Okay. Only like that. You can't actually like turn it and if like you try real. to turn it like legit make a turn, okay. it's gonna it's gonna fall over. Here's the coolest thing it does, and this is there we go, there we go. Okay, alright. I think we have a little bit of B-roll of that, but I think that's all we really need to show of this thing. Now when we got ours, <clears throat> let me be very clear here. We would never have bought this. Yes, we were given this for mm. free. To do a video. And for, you know. we accepted it because we thought that it was going to be fast. We legit went out to try to do a speed test we, with this. Remember Speed Week we did a month or so ago? Yeah. This, this was, was supposed to be in Speed Week. And we've got footage of that to show you guys. Because look at the box. <laughs> like, the whole advertising for this thing, it makes it look like fast. it should be fast. We thought it was going to be like our gyro motorcycle we mm -hmm. had a couple years ago. Um, no, that's not the case. In fact, this thing can barely run outside. Unless you have, like, patio smooth as silk with absolutely no rocks this can't drive outside yeah you have to have some type of flat surface you can drive this we can drive this in our kitchen just with the popping of wheelies but we can't actually like forward drive and turn it walks all. out all the time you would have to have like a huge gymnasium but it can't take turns now this little guy ready to run with this little toy plastic pathetic little radio is a hundred and fifty dollars when, when we, we got, got it. it which we've had this now for like about a month. month and a half or so and we've honestly been like just dreading even like showing it to you guys because it's like a waste of time this is a total waste of time uh, uh this is marketed for 14 plus the age rating 14 plus and all it can do is pop a wheelie and most of the time hold it there. <clears throat> you can like spin it and it can spin around, but most likely it's gonna wipe out if it's doing anything but holding <clears throat> a wheelie. And granted, while it's holding the wheelie and just barely driving around, it's pretty cool, but it doesn't work most of the time and it does need perfect driving conditions yeah. to do that. My 14 month old daughter <clears throat> likes to stare at this thing, but she even loses interest after a minute or seconds. two. Yeah. Um, okay. Having said that, this is now $80. So it was retailing for $150. Yes. I think everybody realizes what's going on here. No one's buying it. They, they dropped it half price. price. Yeah, half That's price and a half. That's crazy. Yeah. And we never see that in the RC world. Now, Abby and I have done this with drones for years. If it's a bad drone, we are so blunt with you, we tell you this is bad, don't buy it. That's what we're doing with this. It's very rare for us to, to find something a that's ground a ground vehicle. vehicle that's so bad, even at $80. To me, in my opinion, this is it. not worth it. It is. No. It, it's a. It, look, if you're a Ducati, if you own a Ducati motorcycle, maybe you'd get this to put, on display, put on display. Yeah. But to actually drive it and have fun as an RC, I don't think so. Um, um, and a lot of YouTubers are saying this is perfect for kids. This is perfect <clears> for kids. <throat> I think a kid would get bored after about five minutes. So the, the main reason Abby and I wanted to make this video is because we, after we had our initial experience with it, we went online and wanted to see what other, we knew, we knew because we were offered this for free. We knew that uh, just oh, a good. ton of a other YouTubers. A of other YouTubers got it for free. And sure enough, you know, it it's on their case. channels. And most of the people out there not are all. not, not all, but uh, uh, most, more than half are saying, are praising it for good 
you know, good things. And it's because they got it for free. And here's what I'm gonna tell you guys, you YouTubers. If you are a YouTuber and you are watching this, and guys, maybe tell those YouTubers to go watch this video. You were not paid to say good things about this. So shame on you yeah. for <laughs> lying to fans, your subscribers that trust you. Shame on you because this is garbage. If you are in the RC hobby and you would have paid $150 because you as the YouTuber said it was fun or said it was good for your kid, Mm -mm. No, and you, also, you can say bad things, YouTubers. You can say bad things. You were not paid. Uh, you were paid. There's no signed contract. You'll notice a lot of YouTubers <laughs> out there that do have this and are praising it are showing it operating as if it's not failing. At, you know, occasionally it'll fall, it'll fall over and, and they'll, oh, no big deal. I'm just going to go pick it up and keep driving. In the real world, this falls over every 10 seconds. You're lucky to get it to even do that balance at the beginning, again, unless you're on pristine, flat surfaces that it was designed to drive on. Anywhere outside the asphalt that we were at where we do all of our speed tests, it's just not perfectly smooth asphalt, which who out there has access to recently paved asphalt within like the last month? And there's no loose gravel on it. Mm -hmm. You know I mean? <clears throat> maybe, maybe we can find those once in a while, but that, this is what that needs to drive on. And who has a huge indoor space to drive, to drive this whenever they want. So the, this is it obviously a, pa it's kind of a sore spot, but a passionate spot for me and Abby and a good opportunity for us to jump in front of the camera and say, be careful who you're listening to out there because there are so many people that will just say good things about drones, about trucks, about whatever, because they got it for free or at a discount or something. And guys, we get things for free. We will always tell you when it sucks. Yeah. And again, YouTubers who are saying things are good when they're not, you need to look into your morals and do the right thing because you're providing a service. People trust you. If they hit that subscribe button, they trust you. Mm -hmm. And to say mm -hmm. that this is worth $150 and it's good for kids. You're doing a disservice to all of the mm -hmm. hobby. You guys tell us in the comments now, is there a channel out there, anybody, and you can you can name drop for this one moment, I'm telling you, is there anybody out there that has got in front of the camera and showed you this thing actually failing in the real world, not under perfect driving conditions? Someone that's very blunt and real with you. We are saying that it is a cool one trick pony. And if you <clears throat> look into the details, they are telling you, you have to drive this inside or perfect conditions. Yeah. Like the fine print. The fine print, it's hidden. <laughs> you know, nobody reads into all that. I mean, the one trick that it does, the one trick pony it's cool. is cool. But, but it can't drive. No, and it's not, I don't even think it's worth about maybe 40 It's really bucks. cool technology, I'll give it that but it's not for an RC enthusiast. It's not for a kid that wants to have an RC car. And another, what, what company out there releases a product, let's say it's $1,000, and then a month later, they knock it down to $500. That's a big red flag right there. So if you can't take our word for it, if you're not believing the RC sailors that are telling you this is junk, Look at the company itself. Within a month of releasing their product, They're the price is at half. So if you can't believe the words coming out of our mouth, look at the people that made this look thing and are facts. selling it. The facts. Mm -hmm. That doesn't show a good sign of a good product. Now, rethink about, oh yeah, I did watch that guy or that girl that said this thing was cool. Hmm, the RC sailors have proven a good point. So just again, this is this is kind of a just a fan service video to you guys. We're not out here and to... and a service <clears throat> to other RC YouTubers. Please, yeah. Please you... learn from us. You are not burning bridges by saying bad things. There will be another company to come along that wants to send you free stuff. And I'm sorry, Trust me. but even other big companies and you know Banggood and other, yeah. if they have, if they send us something bad. And yeah. we tell you guys, it is bad. This is a good, this is probably going to be, you know, a good product. Mm -hmm. It's backed by a good company. So this was $150. We just picked up a Viterra Suburban for a hundred, or for $200. dollars $150 for nothing that doesn't yeah. do anything except this to $200 Whee! for a really name Whee! brand, really nice name brand crawler. 
Yeah, I, I think don't know. just a passionate moment for us. It really is. To we talk you guys. about this all the time, the frustrations of seeing um, YouTubers, I won't say sell out, but like get scared. Like Maybe be scared, scared <clears throat> to say something bad. Yeah, and there's no need to be. So no. this is this really is a video for everybody. It, it's it's disheartening for us to see someone saying this is the last time we'll say it, kind of broken record here, but it's disheartening for us to see that anybody out there would say that is awesome and it is not. But then it's also, this is a video for you, the viewer, to say be careful who you're listening to. And if you're a YouTuber watching this, it's it, this is directly for you. As Abby has said multiple times, it's okay to say bad things. It's okay to and say a product is bad. They didn't pay you. You're yeah. under no contract to say good things. We don't sign contracts that say, uh, like, we can't say. Companies like, get a hold of us. We always get freedom of speech. Companies get a hold of us except daily. Like, except, like, when we got the Crane Aid S, like, we signed a contract that said we wouldn't talk about that until, until a certain, certain date. Day. But it mm. never said anything no. in it that we couldn't say bad things right. about it. I, I, I'm, the companies reach out to us almost daily, most, most of the time, multiple times in a day, and they want us to say, <clears throat> you know, we'll, we'll give you the product, if you say A, B, C, and D about it. And we always, always tell them, no, 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 we do not do that, no. We have 190,000 subscribers, and that is the stance that we take. The RC industry, the YouTube industry of RC well, we've done we've done that since... Day one. Day one. Like, Always. since companies start contacting us Always. when we had 5,000 subscribers. Yep. Like, <clears throat> it doesn't matter the size of your channel, it's your integrity. I'm, I'm saying we have 190,000 subscribers because of that. Oh, yeah. I, th I think. Yeah, honestly. People, people know that if it's crap, we're going to yeah. say it's crap. And this kind of video is why, like, my <clears throat> skin crawls when we get comments that say, you guys never say anything bad about stuff, and I'm like, oh, oh my yeah. gosh, have you watched? A video. No, they don't. Just un <laughs> uneducated people and, and just, if you have a thousand subscribers and you've got companies that started to reach out to you to say, hey, you know, we, uh, we'd love to send you this RC for free, will you do a video on it? Do the video, but be honest about it. Don't sugarcoat it because they're going to, they want to send you something else. As a YouTuber, these companies have only things to gain by you doing a free advertisement for them. That's what, that's... Yeah. This, right here, YouTubers, this doesn't pay your bills. You could get in front of the, the video and show your PlayStation controller or your vacuum cleaner. Like, this isn't paying. You're not making money off of this. Nothing. The company is literally out the amount it took to ship this to you, basically. Yeah. Most likely, <clears throat> they've sent you a refurb. <laughs> I mean, Most of the time, if you're getting a free product, it is a refurb. I mean, so the fact that you are, you're, you know, just being dishonest for a product, like, blows my mind. Yeah. You're literally, like, you can make content about anything. Well, I don't know. This, this is one of the worst situations we've seen. That, uh, you know, we see oh, it all bad. the time. We it's see it, bad. We see it, it all the time. This one. But this was the worst. Like, Almost everyone that we saw do a video and on like it. And like straight hobby grade channels. Like they don't do <clears throat> this, you stuff. Know, this kind of cheap, cheaply made stuff. It just blew my mind to see them like throw their integrity out the window. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> that's it. I, th I feel better. Got that off my chest. We've been wanting to get this video to you guys. I guess just waiting on a rainy day to do it. We had that perfect rainy day. Here you go. If you enjoy the way it looks, if you want to check it out for yourself, you don't believe us on the price, I mean, we'll have a link below. But it I don't was, want you to buy. A week ago, it was $150. Yeah. It and we, I was really, when I, Abby and I, right before we turned the camera on, she said, hey, that's still $150, right? I said, well, let me just look it up really fast. So I was like, you don't believe this. It's already $80. So that right there is the nail in the coffin on this thing. This thing is done. Move on from it. If you are curious and bored, go look up other reviewers. See who says what they said about this. And you'll know who we're talking about. Yeah. We have nothing to gain by saying good things about this. We have nothing to lose by telling you guys about the people out there saying these things. So, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!